Hi everyone, welcome back to Dungeon Pets. Let's go. We need to reveal new information. So we always need to know the exhibition that's happening one round in the future so we can plan ahead for it. This exhibition is for all of your pets again. They want to see playful pets. They do not want to see manure tokens or mutations. And we need to see the customer two rounds ahead as well so we can play, so we can go ahead for that. Uh, this uh, this customer here wants to see that we have got our pets to produce a lot of manure that round and some magic as well, but definitely not any suffering. They don't want to buy pets with suffering. Then we get to adding new stuff, and for a two or three play game, we have a special thing first. All of the neutral imps move one space clockwise, and so they're going to block off different things. So there is only going to be... There's going to be the mixed stall available and no vegetable only stall. That's okay because we haven't got any uh, herbivores yet. Then we're not going to be able to get our imps, but we can use the platform now. This space is just nothing. Uh, and we can't get an add on this round. Or an older pet. So unfortunately, nobody is going to be able to take uh, Drago. Okay then, so stocking everything up. The food stalls. The exhibition tile that we've drawn shows us what these stands are going to be stocked with. So we would normally put one vegetable in there. We don't do that because the imp is there blocking it off. The imp has bought all of this before we've had a chance to. The mixed vegetable stall gets three vegetables and a meat, but because this imp is on here, the mixed stall gets one fewer vegetable. So it's actually going to get two vegetables and one meat. We can put that in there now. And finally, the meat stall just gets one on it. We reveal new artifacts, and this is the first time we've seen artifacts here. If you come to this space, you can get both of these artifacts. Uh, we have the crystal ball. This is before you draw cards in uh, phase three. You can discard up to three cards and draw new ones. So you have some uh, more options if there's things you really don't want to put out. And this is the magic box. You, When you get this, you put a food in it. And you can spend the food from there when you need to, and you can restock it with food that you have. Instead of food spoiling, it can go in your magic box here and be spent from there in the future and not spoil. So that's two artifacts we can get. We need to restock the cages. There's only one left over, so we don't discard any. And we just fill up with these ones here. So this cage, rubbish at containing angry pets, but really good. It's full of toys look. So uh, playful pets will really love that one. We don't restock the add-ons because we treat it as whatever new came out, the imp bought it. Uh, this imp actually buys this pet as well, so it's out of the game. And then we need to get some new baby pets. So three new eggs have hatched here. And I'm just checking up on uh, their names here. So we set them to age two. This is Uni. Then we have, who's this? Baby Golem. And finally, we have Ghosty. Oh, very, very magical. Oh, we're going to want Ghosty. Yeah, that's going to be a great one. Okay then, so I think, are we set up now? I think so, we are ready to make our groups again. Oh no, income. So Marty's the starting player, he gets one. So he's got four gold right now. I get two. So I have one more imp than Marty because I retrieved my imps. And a load of gold, so hopefully I'm going to be able to muscle my way in to getting what I want because there is a very magical pet there. And... There are lovely cages available, and we can't get you know locked out by being first. There are two action spaces available for the cages this round. No add-ons, though. Okay, how's it going to go? Let's see. Okay, then, so on to phase two, the imps. Marty definitely, definitely wants Ghosty. We also need somewhere to put Ghosty. Because all these magical outbursts, you, know, you can't just assign imps to... To make sure you can regulate those, so it can be, it could be risky getting him. He, he may want to go for Uni instead. Let's see though. He wants, so he's going to need an imp with a gold to get any pet, and then maybe he puts some more gold in. You notice I've got loads of gold though. Maybe he just gives up and takes whatever I don't take, because that's that's public knowledge how many imps and how much gold you've got. So let's see. He wants. He's got a cage. He can't get an add-on though, unfortunately. He could maybe get this better cage here with a two and a one instead of just the one and one from his free cage. Let's see, some food would be nice. Some artifacts would be nice. Maybe he wants to send a group and some gold to grab both of those artifacts. They'd be really good to get. 
And then some imps just separately help out with the exhibition, maybe, or go on the platform. Yeah, he's... Because leaving one behind is nice, but you can change your mind and leave one of these behind if you want to. Yeah, you might send the big group, but send the big group to get the artifacts rather than the... the pet. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Over to me, I want pets and I want cages. I have money to throw around and I'm gonna do it. So... Yeah, I, th I think I'm just gonna send a load of gold. I do have an extra imp as well that I can use. We have no customer, so I'm not getting rid of Dire Bunny yet. And then I could have some smaller groups, although maybe not. <laughs> just have big groups the whole way through and throw my weight around. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, then, so we reveal. And my biggest group is four here, so really, if I was being clever, I would have organized them properly, so you can easily see what your biggest group is. My one is uh, four. Marty's biggest group is just three. So I'm going to get to go first. So what do I want then? So it turns out I should have made two groups of four. Because if I get the... I've just got a feeling now that if I get the pet that's really magical, Marty's going to take that cage away from me. And so playing all of the magic cards is not going to be great for me. So I think... I think I'm going to have to go for the cage first, which isn't ideal. Yeah, I should have played two, two size four uh, things, really. So I would have gotten the first choice twice. Marty, being the first player, gets his group of three in first. And so, yeah, it's not definite that he can get a cage. Although we can see that I, I don't have another group with gold in it. So I have to use that to get a pet if I want a pet. He's kind of free to get his cage and then get his pet later. Because of the way I've left it. Although none of the cages do magic any better. But he can move them around a little bit. They don't have to stay in that particular cage. Yeah, Marty's going to get... Before I can take it, he's going to come in and get a pet. And he's going to get Ghosty. So he could potentially put Ghosty in the really magical one. Although they're drawing the same amount of purple cards, aren't they? This time, so yeah. Don't think it matters as much. Okay then, for me, I have, I have to get my pet here, don't I? So, because it's the only one with gold in it. So I think I'll take Uni, so I at least have a chance of getting one magic to compete in the exhibition somehow. And then I have to go in that configuration. That's probably the best configuration though, for now. Then, Marty's got groups of two. Yeah, actually, I haven't done very well. With all of that gold, I, I should have spent some more of this gold. I've, I've got three left over. I haven't really uh, pushed my weight around, have I? Marty's going to grab those artifacts, and he decides, does he want a, a meat or a vegetable on it? They're both omnivores, so he'll, he'll have a meat. Why not? It comes with one on it, and then later on, you can put more food on it if it's empty. I think I'm going to grab the food, because this, uh, this mixed food stall, it's got three on it. That's quite good. Then Marty, let's see. He's going to try and get a leg up in the exhibition. Going here gets him two extra points in the exhibition. And it's just a majority. The person in first place gets six points. Second place gets two points. So Marty's got uh, a bit of a leg up here. And he's got much more magical pets. So I think he's grabbing this exhibition. I only have one more of size two. And I am going to send my imps. I'm tempted to do it on the platform. Now this is a way of making your pets worth more points when you sell them. I could get another cage though, take care of some play needs. Just going on the platform is great and will, it really helps you with selling to customers, but those imps are locked away until you do that and you can only do one at a time. So I'm losing a lot of imps in doing that. I think I'm gonna get another cage to prepare for the future. Now that one does two play needs and a bit of magic. I think I'm just gonna do this one that's a bit more balanced. One of each and one play need. And I could put, uh, I could put Die Bunny in there if I wanted to, but I think, uh, I don't think we'll do that. Marty has his two still. I think he's going to go on the platform. He doesn't mind giving up one to be on there. Uh, it stays there for now, slides over later. Then for me, I don't think I'm going to need an imp for anger. I think most likely, oh, what Marty hasn't done though, is add food. 
So I could take food away from him, and then maybe that would put him in a worse position. Although he's got, he's got two food, hasn't he? Even if his pet wants to be fed twice, purple is never food. So I don't think that's worth doing. One food. I could go to the hospital. See what's available. It's just the hospital, isn't it? Hospital or food. So I'm going to go hospital. Or I could bring him back and get a gold. I think having a potion card would be useful, though. So I'm going to grab that. Then Marty. Uh, I don't think he cares about having the food. I think he's just going to leave those for getting gold. And I already have one left. So that's it for the worker placement portion. Now we have to arrange our pets. So I think... Let's see. Green can't be play. This, this pet's going to get... We don't have to decide permanently yet. That pet can still get angry, so I think I want him in the... Even though he hasn't got a play need taken care of. Yeah, I want him in that cage still. Okay, Marty. I don't think it matters for him because... Yeah, he's, he's in a bit of trouble if either of these pets... If he only draws magic cards, then he has to be a bit worried because he hasn't got the... The capability to withstand in that cage there. It can only have one magical outburst in there anymore, and the pets start getting mutated. Okay, then, so now we need to draw need cards. So for me, it's a bit more simple. I need to draw three greens, a purple, two reds, and a yellow. And then for Marty, it's two greens and four purples. So he's the first player. Let's see what he's doing first. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have a bit of anger. That's good. So... For Marty's assigning, he wants as much magic as possible to win this exhibition. So he's going to assign two magic. Okay, he can do two magic there. For the Dunguin. And he can assign food. The Dunguin can eat. That's okay. He's got food to spend. And then for Ghosty up there, he can do one magic. Because the cage can only withstand one magic. And then the other one can just be... A bit of rage, because the cage can withstand one rage without uh, putting an imp in danger. That's worked out quite well for Marty. Yeah, he's quite happy with that. If the cage could have withstood more, he could have played the card as an anger and magic and got some extra points, but he's not going to be able to do that. I think that's very good, though, for that exhibition. Over to me. I do have a yellow card that's got magic on it. So that's going to help me a little bit. I don't know what Marty's played, so it's probably worth going for it, isn't it? So we're going to have, let's, let's do the uni first. Uni's easier. So if we're going to do a purple, it's going to have to be the disease one, which I'm safe from because uni doesn't have any uh, manure in her cage. So we could play it for double like that. And then green can be anger because the cage can withstand one uh, tantrum. And then we can do magic for dire bunny up here with the yellow. Then two reds, that's going to be anger, which we can handle. But the two greens are going to have to be manure, which isn't too bad now. But later is going to be really bad if we ever have to play a disease card. And we might be forced to at some point. Although if we don't get another pet, we could put... So uh, we, we probably should have put Dive Bunny in there. Although we would have been worried with um, anger then, wouldn't we? It just would have been nice to clear that cage out. Maybe if we get another cage and a pet next round, we can leave that cage empty. Yeah. So we're going to have to just uh, play manure there, unfortunately. Okay, so next is... It's evaluating them, isn't it? So we evaluate the disease and magic. So the magic can be withstood. The disease... Disease plus manure is just one, so we don't take any suffering cubes. Up here, we need two more manure for this cage. Then two anger is fine, thanks to the special cage, and one magic is fine, thanks to the basic cage. So all of my needs are met. For Marty, the cages can withstand the magic and rage, and he needs to pay two food, which he has, so that's all okay. And so now we look at the exhibition, and I think, yeah, Ma Ma I can see the writing on the wall that Marty has definitely won this. So magic, he's got one, two, three magic played. One, two, three. And I have one, two. Yeah, even without the plus two, Marty won that. So Marty's going to get six reputation points, and I am going to get two. That's what it is in a two-player game. In a three-player game, it will be seven, four, two. The next phase would be business, but there is no customer in round two. Customer is in round three, and once 
some very uh, very diseased pets. But unfortunately, if we put disease on uh, Dire Bunny and Dire Bunny stays in there, we get a lot of suffering, and we don't want that. So there's there's no pets to be sold. So we discard all of the needs cards, and then our imps can work. So Marty's don't need to clear up any manure, so can just earn gold. Mine, unfortunately, can't clean up manure because I left the pet in there and they can only clear an empty cage. So just going to earn me one gold. Then let's see. Pets need to age. So Uni goes up two. And Dive Bunny goes up one. For Marty, Dungwin goes up one. And Ghosty goes up two. So wants to play a little bit now as well as going crazy for magic, which now isn't such a great thing because the exhibition isn't concerned with magic. Although this, this customer really wants a magical pet as well as a pet that can produce a lot of manure. So yeah, we've aged pets. We need to age food. Marty has no food to be aged. I didn't play any food, did I? That could turn out to be a mistake. I lose this one meat, but I do have plenty of food for next round. And so that goes away. Then we need to return all of our imps, and I'm going to be the first player for the new round. Okay, so we need to reveal new information. That exhibition tile should have gone away now. We've done that. So we can see that round four's exhibition is just going to be concerned with one pet for a change. And this is the freestyle exhibition where we get to choose a need and then get two points in the exhibition for every one of that need that we played. Then we have the customer. And the customer wants playful, angry, and magical. Does not want manure. That's bad for me. But it's, it's manure cards that you played rather than uh, cubes in the cage. So the customer this round is the Lich Lord, who loves diseases, but eating, that's just sick. And then the exhibition that we have is a playful one. It's Children's Day. Bring in the kiddies to look at your playful pets, but clean up first. Sure, the kids might love to see mutated monster in a manure field cage, but their parents will be doing the judging. Or two points for each play need and deduct two points for each mutation token and one point for each manure token in your cages whether the cages have pets or not so this is looking at everything i'm in trouble because i have a ton of manure i'm gonna lose this exhibition aren't i maybe my play needs can balance that out so we need to advance the dummy players around a bit oh, i can't get two extra points in the exhibition this round that's frustrating so, I haven't done it here. So we need some new cages and add-ons. We have this 2-1, one, 1-0, one and this one provides a food. It's not bad. Then this, the golem ages, and we need three. Well, we only need two pets down here, actually, because this imp's classed as taking one of them. So... We have these guys. This is Cthulhu and Fiery Fairy. And what else do we need to fill up? The artifacts. So we have Imp Armor. When you use imps to boost the power of your cages when your monsters are having tantrums, uh, this uh, prevents the imps from going to hospital. And this can be used in round four, in it, phase four, when we have the exhibition, to use an imp to remove two manure tokens from a cage, even if it's occupied. I desperately want that. For the food, we have two vegetables, no meat available. Marty has no food, does he? And this imp is preventing any meat being on there. So yeah, luckily we haven't got any uh, only carnivores because they would be out of luck this round. Oh, and we need to reset the exhibition back to zero. So I think we are ready to make groups. So more than anything, I want those artifacts. It would be nice to get a cage. So there's only one cage available as well. I have got a spare cage though, so I don't have to worry about that too much. I think I'll make a group in case I want a cage. I don't particularly care which pet I get, although this pet is really playful. And I do have a cage that satisfies a play need. Focus camera. Maybe I want a bit more. And maybe secure that art those artifacts a bit more. That is all of my gold though. That's a lot of stuff to spend. Yeah, I think I think I'm happy with that. Marty wants that older pet, but also wants this cage. This cage could satisfy those play needs without having to need, usually need imps to play with the, the pets. So I think he's, he's keen on the cage and the pet. And if he could get the artifacts, that would be great. And then what, just take what's left after that? 
Yeah, that's what he's going to go for. Okay, so we reveal, and we reveal that I actually had a bigger group. I'm doing it again. I need to put them in proper order here. But I had a group of four, and that group of four... Let's see, what do I want to do? I, th I think... I want that pet. Although if we got that pet, that's going to be one play need, isn't it? So I don't particularly need a cage, do I? Well, they're taking one away from Marty would be really good. I think if I don't get the artifact, Marty's going to take the artifacts. Who knows, though, what he would have done. At least I can take some, uh, some manure out now. It means I have to not spend one of my imp groups. Marty is coming in, and he is going to grab the baby golem, which means I could swoop in now and take a cage away, but it would mean I couldn't get a pet. It would mean that Marty wouldn't have anywhere to put his pet, though. Oh, actually, I, I've only got one imp there and some gold. So, yeah, I can't do that. Uh, I could get some imps. Some food might be really useful. I do have a lot of food, though. So I don't have to worry too much about that. We want a pet, don't we? I think a bit of magic, a bit of playfulness, and it's uh, an omnivore as well. The Was it Cthulhu? Could go in there. And let's see. Marty doesn't want to uh, not have the opportunity to get a cage, although the cage has no physical resistance. So yeah, could put some of his imps in hospital. Then... Oh, Marty should have an imp actually on there, shouldn't he? I never slid him over. Yeah, Marty should have one fewer imp available, which is okay, it was just one of his uh, little one groups. Marty still has a group of three though, so he can go next. And he doesn't want to leave himself without any food. Doesn't want to have spent that much to get it, but yeah, doesn't... That completely locks out an option, doesn't it? If you take suffering cubes if you give them food needs and can't pay the food. So what's left for me? I could get... There's another imp available now if I go on this space. Let's see, we can put people on the platform for selling pets. Could be useful this round, we could get one back. I could get an add-on. An add-on that adds some magic resistance, maybe? That adds a food need. Hmm. If I can't go on the plus two, I can go on the platform, get some imps, or get an add-on. I like the idea of having the add-on. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get an add-on. I don't want food to always be taken care of. Well, one food anyway. Or, I think extra magic resistance. If we keep Uni, Uni is only going to have more and more uh, magical emanations. So that would be really good. Marty has one imp left. And I think in case he needs it to play, he's not going to put that imp out. And so for me, I have a group of two. I'm just going to decide to not send that group of two out. I'll send my group of one out to get another imp. So that's just one more. And I'll go on the platform. Okay, that's quite... I think that's worked out really well for me this round. So we need to arrange all of our pets. I think I'm having... Uh, we've, we've already done that. <laughs> and then we need to draw need cards. Okay, so I won't go through all the things that I need. I'll just draw them. Okay, here we go then. Apologies, static cameras. I know that this isn't all fitting in. There's a lot of cards coming out now. So we want, ideally, for this customer, every disease that we play is three points each, but you can only play one of each color. That's what this uh, multicolored symbol means for it. And every rage is worth an extra point to the customer. And it, you work out your match score with the customer. They have to have a positive match score. So if you don't have any disease or rage and you have some food and some... Uh, sadness cubes then yeah it's suffering cubes it's uh, the customer's not going to buy your pet but it doesn't determine the price that they'll pay but it will determine the points you'll get so what have i got in terms of disease i just have the one disease so i want to play i want to play to a pet that has got purple now this pet can't be sold yet it's too young so it's probably going to be uni I'll only get two gold from selling her, but let's see. So that would be three points, wouldn't it? Magic doesn't help out, so there's no point playing magic as well. Doesn't want food to be played, because the customer does not want uh, its pets fed. So for the two greens, we could play the poo. Let's see. Play those there. And then yellow. We don't want more poo, do we? We could, we could have play, because that could be handled by an imp, but... At the same time, we want the imps to be cleaning up. 
I think, oh, oh, we just put more manure in there, but that's more problems, isn't it? But we've, we've got this, we've got the shovel that can be used when it's occupied. So yeah, I think we'll just have a lot of poo. Although, do we want to save the poo cards for round four? Well, that's going to be really important. I think, yeah, let's do a play card. We'll do a play card. And then we can do a play card for Cthulhu up here because one play need is just taken care of with no imps. And then purple. Oh, dear. We, we could do rage. We're not, we're not selling. Um, we're not selling Cthulhu. So one rage is fine. Although we want rage, don't we? Yeah, if only there was a card that had rage and uh, disease on it. I think Mar Marty's got one, actually, I think. Yeah, he has. So up here, Dire Bunny is... Let's see, we're going to get points in the exhibition for, sadly, the manure cubes that we have, but uh, also the, the play that we've, uh, we've used. And I'm generating more poo cubes right now, but I think because of the imps we've got available, we're only going to be able to play one... Oh, no. We're only going to be able to play one play need here. Yeah, I should have saved more imps. I should have brought more imps back, I think. Not got the extra one, maybe. Yeah, because we're going to have to put poo down, which counts against us. And then two greens. It's going to have to be food. That's okay, because we're not selling this pet. And then two reds. We can handle the anger. Yeah, I needed to save more imps for all of the playing. That was uh, my downfall here. So that's all of the cards assigned for me. Now, the same thing for Marty. So Marty has a card that's got disease and rage on it. Unfortunately, though, the only pet that wants a red card played is the baby golem, which cannot be sold. It's too young. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a waste. So in terms of disease, he's got a yellow card and a green card with disease on. They're, different, they're separate pets, though. Could play rage. He's got rage on green and purple. Maybe he sells... Uh, Dung, uh, Dungwin, but he would want to play, so it's Rage and Disease. Oh, he's got Disease here, so he could do Disease, Rage. Yeah, this works out. And then Purple. Oh, but there's no Rage in this cage here. He's going to have to send an Imp, isn't he? So, Disease, Rage. Then... The purple is just going to have to be magic. He's only got one imp to send into the cages. Another green is needed, so food's going to count against... It wants the best selling value, so it's going to have to be manure, I think. For the baby golem, two play needs are satisfied, so yeah, he'll just... Uh, he'll just do play. I can't grab these cards. There we go. And that helps in the thingamajig. So... Unfortunately, though, there's going to be no imp available to play with. Well, if he was thinking about it, let's allow... Oh, yeah, there's no imp to play with anybody. Uh, so it's going to have to be disease up here, which is okay because there's no... Uh, there's, no extra, there's no extra penalty for that. We, oh, Marty should have got an add-on. So he can do rage now for one of the purples. He needs to play two more purples. He can't do play. He can do... Oh, what he's going to have to do is... He's going to do magic, and then he's going to do potion. Because if he played two magic, then Ghosty would get mutated, and we don't want that. That's bad. Okay then, so I think that's, that's all of the cards. See how it's, it's kind of snowballing and uh, yeah, getting a lot of cards and a lot to think about. So evaluating the needs, I think I'm going to use my imp with the shovel, and we can dig out two manure cubes right now. But we are generating two in here and one in here. Let's see, play. We can have an imp playing with the pets, and your imps can stand between the cages. So this imp is playing with both of them, so both of these one plays are satisfied. We've done this. Disease is fine, because there's just... Oh, no. Let's see, we're, we're not playing disease up here, so let's, let's use the imp now to clean, and clean in here instead, because we don't want these manure in here. Yeah, and that just means there's going to be... Four in there. Terrible. And this is going to be the empty cage. Still, we, we want the customer to, to want to buy the pet. 
and we don't want it to we don't want the disease to affect it too badly. Okay then. So that's this pet taken care of. Rage is fine. One play is fine thanks to the cage. Two rage is fine thanks to this cage. Two food. We will do a meat because that's about to go off and then a veg isn't. And poo has already been done. Play is handled by this imp. We are okay for the needs. For Marty, disease is fine. Rage is fine. Magic's fine. Potion just counts as nothing, but he needs to discard a card. I think he'll discard the play and magic. He'll discard just the magic one. It's more likely he'll get one of those again. Because you have to discard the one that it's taking the place of. Then two magics fine here in the three magic cage. Uh, we have Manure coming in, one Rage. The Imp's going to have to go in there and brace the cage, which means that this Imp's going to go to hospital. And yeah, Disease is fine, Magic's fine, Play is fine in this special cage. So yeah, all these needs are fine. This, the Imp needs to go to the hospital. So then we have the Exhibition. How many Play needs did we play? Marty had two, which each is worth two points, so that's four. And then Manure one back that is marty's marty scored three in the exhibition i played two four six points of play but i have four manure cubes so unfortunately just behind if that space had been available or maybe if i'd cleared some manure in the previous rounds this would have been better so marty gets another six points two three four five six i get another two that's looking bad isn't it okay so we can reset them back to zero. Then we have the customers. So the customer, and it will buy a pet from each of us. It's not uh, who has the best one. So once I am sending up for consideration Uni, who gives a match score of three for every disease. No rage was played, so that's just three for me. Minus one for every food or suffering token. So my match score is three with the customer. And so now we can either sell from the platform out in the public here, and get three times our match score in points, or we can just sell on the black market and just get twice our match score. So I can either get myself six or nine points. I think I want the imp back as well, so I'm going to sell from the platform and get nine points. So I'm on four, so that puts me on 13. And then for Marty, he is selling... Oh, I need money as well. So Uni gets two money. And so I get that. And we can put her there for now. And Dungwin has a disease and a rage. So that is four match score. No food was played. No suffering cubes. So Marty's going to use his platform imp. So four times three is 12. And Marty's already on 12. So he's on 24 now. So zooming ahead of me. So that's uh, two exhibitions in a row that he's won. And the customer takes away here. And one little tip towards the end of the rulebook is you can make a little display and uh, kind of see that, oh, yeah, this is, this is what the customers ended up with. Is it the kind of pets they wanted? And how well did we do? And maybe the pets that uh, left us if you didn't uh, do so well at keeping hold of your pets. Marty needs two gold as well for selling Dungwin. And where are we now? We need to discard the cards, use the imps. I've got an imp spare here. Oh, the imp was going to be clearing up manure. Well, oh, but it's not empty. I should have used another play card, I think, somewhere along the line and used an imp. I'm sure I chose not to. I think, should we have a little take back there? So I can't clear the manure out from here, can I? So yeah, let's, let's say instead of, instead of making another manure. Oh, this would actually have been a brilliant idea. Hooray for take backs. I... Yeah, because we could have had this imp playing to satisfy the need. It's because I was going to leave the manure in here, wasn't it? But we didn't do that in the end. So one less manure means that I got one more point in the exhibition, which means we, t we tied. So we actually each get five. So Marcy needs to get one fewer point. I need to get three more points. That's closed the gap a little bit. Yes. Take backs are the best, aren't they? So Marty has an imp spare. Does he want the imp for a gold? Or clean up some manure? Yeah, I think he's going to clean up some manure, keep himself completely clean so now age the pets so we have Cthulhu here gets a bit older and now we have the very very oldest Marty baby golem stops being a baby 
And Ghosty gets a little bit older and a little bit angry now. And where does that put us? We've aged that. We need to age food, so I'm fine. Marty's veg is fine still as well. And I've brought all of the imps back. We need to pass starting player again. And we are ready. So reveal new stuff. We need to get rid of that exhibition tile, don't we? Then reveal new stuff is going to be... Oh, the wild card. It's two points for every different need that you assigned to one particular pet. Uh, and we need to see the customer in advance, don't we? Oh, so now we see there are two customers in the last round, so you can sell two different pets. Only one from the platform, though. Neither of us have got any imps there now. And oh, this needs to slide along so we know that it's round four. And then we've revealed new information. We need to sort out the pets. So what is this? Fiery Fairy gets a bit older and goes up there. Oh, we need to do all the imps first, don't we? So we can see what is not going to be available. So no artifacts this round, no platforming. Yeah. Okay then, so one up there, and two new eggs are coming out. So they need to be set to age two. And who have we got? Let's look at these names. We've got... Trolley. He's not a vegetarian by nature, he's a vegetarian by choice. He's very playful and not aggressive at all, but sometimes he doesn't realise his own strength. And then... I think this is a promo one, and I haven't got the rules to hand right now. Doesn't eat at all. Potions can be used as... Let's, instead of looking up the rules, I have some promo ones, but I haven't been prepared for the promo ones. I thought I'd taken them all out. So we have, instead, uh, Bubble. Loves to spend time in its bowl. Leaves only when it needs to poop, or when you knock on the bowl. Bubble really hates that. You'd be surprised how fast it can pursue you across the lawn. A very angry pet, once uh, it gets a bit older. Then we need cages. We don't need another cage because an imp is taking whatever would have come out. We need another add-on. And that's going to satisfy an anger. And then food. So we need to have two vegetables. Nothing in the mixed one because the blocker is there. And then three meat out here. Okay. I think we're done there. So now... Oh, we've... We need to do income, don't we? So Marty's the first player and gets one gold. I am not the first player and get two gold. So now we need to work out our groups. I think I want a pet. Maybe this pet would be good. So we want for the last round, some of this hungry and playful. I don't particularly mind too much, though. I think I'm just going to send one imp and a coin for that. Then I, th I want a cage, don't I? I probably want some food. And maybe get, get some stuff at the exhibition. Get two extra points at the exhibition. Just so I can try and win one and claw some points back. Yeah, I'm going to try and go for the exhibition there. I think if you get first choice on a cage or something. Because ideally I would like to get uh, Dive Bunny out of that cage so we can clean it. Although it's likely Dive Bunny's probably getting sold. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Then hospital would be nice. Oh, Marty should have an imp in the hospital, shouldn't he? Just grabbed them all back when I was retrieving them. Some extra points at the exhibition. I think I want to. I want to leave two imps behind, but you can you can just have them just there, just in case. I think I'll save a gold. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's my groups. Marty would really like another really magic. I think he's going to decide to put Ghosty in here because Ghosty's really magical, and then he could get maybe the fiery fairy. <laughs> both though, he's really worrying for both things. Maybe he could just get. Nice, uh, playful vegetarian here. So he wants, he wants a pet, doesn't he? A cage? Oh, this cage would be quite good. It's not very aggressive. And this deals with a manure need and uh, a food need for vegetables, which this pet is. So I think he's going to go for... Yeah, he's going to go for cages and the pet. You have two groups of three. And yeah, he, he probably needs to go to the hospital, go to retrieve imps. He wants food as well. He's, he's got two food. That's not too important. Yeah. He'll just do that. He'll go for fewer but bigger groups. Okay, then. so we reveal. Marty's biggest group is three. So is mine. So Marty gets to go first. Marty is going to grab... Let's see. The, the pet that he wants isn't going to be as great if he doesn't get the cage. And he wants to be the only person getting a cage as well, doesn't he? So he's going to grab this cage. Now I did want to do, I did want a cage, 
Which pet did I want? Which was I talking about? Was I talking about the <laughs> this guy as well? I can't remember any of the names. I think we were after the same one. So unfortunately, snooze you lose, Marty. I am taking this pet. I'm not as geared up for... Maybe I should take this one, though. And then... He's kind of taking care... He doesn't get that magical, though. This one gets magical and really aggressive. Maybe I should take this one. Because my imps are really good at handling that. Yeah, let's take this one. My imps are good at handling overly aggressive pets. Although now I'm not going to have an imp... I am going to have an empty cage. I'm selling that one. Okay. Marty can come in and get the pet that he wanted after all, after that initial panic that maybe he wasn't going to get it. And then I want food. I need meat. But he hasn't got any green needs, so it's not that likely through red that he's going to have a food need. So I think the points at the exhibition... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for those. Then Marty... I think he's going to retrieve his imps. So Marty gets three imps now from this. Whereas I've had to do it twice and only ended up with two imp, one imp each, each time. Uh, I want some food, don't I? I? It would probably be nice to have some meat. It is three food, but then again, it doesn't last very long, does it? Although an add-on, maybe. Ooh. You could get a food need taken care of. Yeah, yeah, and I'll just take whichever food's still available in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this, uh, this food one, I think. I'm going to put it there. Then Marty just has one. Does he want to go to the hospital? I think he wants... Yeah, he wants to go to the hospital. Retrieve him. And he does get a potion as well. But it means he's only going to have one. He's definitely going to save this one. He's only going to have one to attend to... Although, actually, I could have gone there first. I, I wouldn't, though. I still have a group of two. So I would have gotten the next choice. And let's see. Three meat. Yeah, I think three meat, although it doesn't last as long. He only eats meat, so it would be nice to have the option of giving him that, wouldn't it? Okay. Marcy's not placing anymore. I could get the veg as well. Really go for food, maybe. Depends on what I draw, doesn't it? I don't know what I'm going to draw. Uh, or I just save the imps for playing and protecting the cages and stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to save the imps and maybe get some gold. Okay, then. So we've done the placement. We need to sort out where everybody's going. So we could, you know, rearrange all of these. But I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, we're going to leave that as it is. Marty is happy with how his are placed now, I think. Then we need to draw the cards. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of cards, isn't it? Especially with my Dire Bunny. There's so many cards. I'm drawing three, six, seven, 10, 14 cards. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting this almost every time that I can, Marty can discard up to three cards with his crystal ball. Like he doesn't need disease or particularly care about food or he just care about play, but not. Not particularly. He wants, he wants to try and get some manure, so I think he would have discarded these three before we drew extra cards. Just as a note, he's hoping to draw more manure for the, the customer that wants to buy a pet this round. Although he doesn't have to sell to the customer. So he's got, he's got a little bit extra there. So he wants, in terms of selling, he definitely wants to play the manure, doesn't he? So he's the one that needs red and green, no there isn't. Although red, and a load of magic. He didn't draw another magic card, did he? Uh, red and a load of magic would work out well for selling, so we'll probably sell ghosty. We can handle the three magic, can handle the manure, and then yellow. We don't need another magic because that would be unbearable. He could just play, he could do play, we could just do disease because we know that's safe because there's, uh, there's not enough manure to make it roll over into something scary. For... Oh, we could choose play. Oh, we ha we're not going to have enough play though, are we? Marcy's only got one minion. So he could do... You know, he can do play twice for free. Oh, but then he has to play red cards. Oh, this isn't looking good for Marty. Let's see, he can do a food up there and that's fine. And then... 
a play isn't too bad because it can be shared, an imp can be shared between the two. And then this one can have a play and a magic because it can handle a magic and then it can handle three plays. Okay, that's okay. But then, but then with the minion escape. Okay, okay so instead of a play, this would just have to be magic. And then the play can be a red card. And then instead of the other red card, rage would make the, the pet escape. There's not enough to be played with. And so it would get, uh, it would get despair cubes. So he's going to have to use his, uh, his freshly gained uh, potion. It's a good job he's had those. Okay, so that's all of Marty's cards. And then he's going to have to discard a red. He'll, he'll discard. So you want rage and play for next customer sale. So he'll keep the card that's got both of them on. And just discard a normal red. Okay, that's Marty sorted. For me, let's see, I want a lot of poo and some magic. I want to sell the bunny, don't I? So this could work out quite well. I don't need to do food then as either. So the two greens can both be poo. Oh, this would have been poo. I should have saved my guy on the platform for this. Oh, it's only one for each color though. Yeah, so there's no point, there's no point overloading on that. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking, how am I going to clear all of this up? But yeah, we, we can have... Although if I played loads, it would count towards uh, this, wouldn't it? If I just played the same card over and over again. Let's just think of... I haven't got a red or a purple of that, so that would just be two. And I haven't got any magic. Oh, I could play... I could play a magic. So that would be six. Seven for the match score. That, that's not too bad, is it? Because we can do... Maybe for the same card, we could do anger. So we could do all three reds be angry. And then we can send in an imp to hold in the cage. Then we just need to play one more green. So that might as well be food before the vegetables go off. Yeah, so that is Dire Bunny. We could do a food and we can handle one rage. Unfortunately, though, I only have a rage and a play. It might as well just be play, hadn't it? So we're going to need an imp to take care of the play. And over here we can have a play and a food. So we're going to need an imp to restrain those up there. We've got one, only one imp for manure. And we can do him now because of the shovel. I don't think manure counts against us this round though, so it's not as important. So... We need to do a yellow. I've done the yellow. Let's see, how much magic resist has this got? Just the one. Okay, that's bad. So let's bring that back a minute. So we're going to have to do two purples. So that's one magic and one play. We do have an imp playing though, so we can have one more play card in here. We can have food because we can afford to do that. And then for the yellow, we can afford to have one more play, but it's a play with some poo attached. I think a play with some food. We've got, have we got food? Yeah, it eats meat. That's okay. We can do that. <laughs> yeah, this is getting, it's uh, bending my mind a little bit now. So how have we ended up with two purples? Have I not played enough somewhere? I haven't played a purple here. It can handle magic. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so resolving the needs. So we're going to need to pay two food there. That's okay. One play handled by the cage, one handled by the imp. The magic's fine. Magic's fine. Play handled by the imp. Food has to be meat. Up here, we have food, our last vegetable. Then the cage handles two of these. The imp handles the third. And we have magic. Magic's okay because the cage. And two manure goes right back in there. And that's all handled. Marty's, what was going on here? I can't even remember this far back. Marty's uh, eating, so that's a vegetable up there. And a play is handled by this imp. We have three play here, so that's okay. Magic is okay. Potion is anything he's already discarded the card. Disease is fine. Manure goes out. Where's one of those? There. And then three magic is fine, thanks to the special cage. Okay. So, exhibition. Pick one pet and then one need 
and you get two points for every one of those needs. So I think I'm going to pick Dire Bunny with Rage. So that's going to be six points at the exhibition for me. So that puts me on eight. Marty, yeah, it's, it's going to come down to he'll pick Ghosty with Magic. It's going to come down to the fact that I went to the plus two space. So I win the exhibition finally. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. So I've closed the gap a bit there. Then customer. So that can go away. Customer wants to buy pets that... Oh, Marty didn't... I don't think he could have put more poo on. Uh, yeah, this, Ghosty doesn't need any green. Yeah, so for, for me, the, the farmer is going to buy uh, Dire Bunny up there. My, my first pet. I don't want to let him go. So it's three match points for each manure. So that's six match points. And I've got one magic. So that's seven match points. I don't have anyone on the platform, so it's going to have to be in the black market. So seven times two is 14 points. So one, two, three, four, teen. And I also get four gold, which isn't bad because, you know, I've, uh, I've fully, fully raised uh, Dire Bunny to be the oldest pet that I can have. So that's, that's that handle. We've, we, neither of us have got any uh, despair cubes, have we? Distress cubes? I can never remember the word. Suffering cubes, that's what they're called. Marty's selling ghosty, I think, which is three, four, five, six. Still not bad. That's 12 points. So 10, 11, 12. I've really closed the gap, though. And we can go up to the customer display that I've been making, and we can see the pets that have been bought. Marty needs two gold because didn't hang on to ghosty as long as I held on to uh, Dire Bunny. And discard the cards. I'll sort out all that in a minute. I've got no imps to clean up with. Marty doesn't either or get any gold with. And so let's let's age the pets. So Fiery Fairy gets a lot more scary. And Cthulhu is a bit older as well. Marty has One-Eyed Man and Baby Golem. Wow. Looking quite scary now, especially in a cage that's got no uh, no strength in it at all. It's got a lot of play, no strength. And age food, Marty just has this solitary veg. Okay, I'll retrieve all of the minions now and discard all of the cards. Okay, so it's round five. We need to see the final exhibition there. That's going to want uh, cards played of different types on the same pet. Then we need to advance the dummy imps. So no new imps this round for me. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Wasted my chance. And... Oh, no. No chance to get uh, Fish Bowley. I remember his name. Bubble. I remember. How could I forget Bubble? Then... Then what? Restock everything. So we're having no veg. We are having uh, no veg in here, but two meat. And then three meat in the meat-only thing. So vegetarians, like Marty's... Or, uh, yeah, herbivores rather than vegetarians. Although his was choice, wasn't it? It said in the story. He's a vegetarian. Uh, then, we stocked all of this, so we don't need to do anything here. Stock up, we need full cage display. There we go. So very strong cages for angry pets. And we have a, an add-on that will handle a play need. And I think we are... Oh, no, we need uh, some actual pets, don't we? So we need two pets down here. And if I can just turn them the right way, they'll be all set up and ready to go. So who are the new pets? So we have Snappy. Snappy will sit for hours at the edge of his cage, wagging his tail, whining and fixing passers-by with his devoted gaze. He knows that sooner or later, someone will reach through the bars to pet him. And then we have Wormy. It didn't take long for Wormy to fall in love with our beautiful green meadows. He does like his vegetables pretty hot, though. His motto is, spice must flow. So... It's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because we don't have any vegetables this round and his food needs are through the roof. Okay, groups then. I want a cage. I want that pet. I think I'm going to throw money around because I want imp spare for cleaning up manure and... Does this mean there's only one pet available? Oh no, he should be here, shouldn't he? Yeah, they should always be the same apart. Okay, I was a bit uh, confused then. They're like, oh, that seems a bit harsh. Yeah, there should be another pet available. Which means, do we get another story time? Of course we do. This is Birdie. When Mother Magic created Birdie, she made it fly. Then, because all creatures that fly have wings, she gave Birdie some. 
And so, when Birdie hovers over a flower, sucking out its magical essence, sometimes it flaps its wings to keep up the image. So we have a very magical pet, but also another herbivore. Okay. So I think... I want to make sure that I get that pet. I want the cage as well. Let's see. Yeah. And then I'll make some smaller groups, but I probably don't want to use these. Okay, that's my choice. Marty isn't in a stronger position. He's got more imps than me, though. Does he want another cage? His cages are kind of full, so he's not as bothered about that. He can't get an add-on, so I actually shouldn't have stocked this up. Don't tell anyone. But what we do have that I didn't draw, though, is artifacts. We have books. Now, each book has two different colours on it. When you get the artifact, you choose which colour you want, and you basically have an extra card of that colour in your hand for the rest of the game. You can't change the colour, though, that it is. And then we have the Whip of Obedience. This gives you half a point in exhibitions, so you break any ties effectively. So that is a great thing to have. So let's reveal. I've revealed an eye... See, I kind of put all my eggs in one basket with the, the pet. I'm the only person with a four group. And I really wanted this pet because it was the only meat eater out, but this one here doesn't really care about eating very much. It's very magical. Marty has a space for a very magical pet. So I think he would take that one anyway. I think I'm going to have wasted a lot of gold, but I'm going to get these artifacts. The whip and... Let's see, I need red the most, unless I get one of these pets and then there's a lot of green. I think having... Having an extra red card in my hand permanently would be nice. And that card is, at the moment, Manure. Angry Manure. So, Marty is going to come in and get a pet, I think. And so, who do you like? What, what do we need? We want uh, most different colours of cards. So, oh, the most different actions, that is. Not that that one's the most different coloured cards. So, we'd like a potion for round six's exhibition. And playful, angry magic pets. But we need to be looking at the future, though, don't we? So magic's bad for this customer. Does not want magic. Wants very hungry uh, pets. And Marty can discard cards, though. He, does, he can only discard the ones he's got in his hand, though, can't he? He's kind of thinking of food needs, because this one's going to be really good for the customers at the end. Although not so good if it has to get suffering cubes. Marty's going for it, though. Oh, is he going for it? He can get the magical one. But the magical one isn't good for these. No, he's going for it. He's thinking of the customers at the end. As for me, I need to get a pet before... before these things run out. Before Marty just swoops in, because he's got an empty cage. And, yeah, I'm going to grab this pet. Then... Marty... Marty's the only one with a group of three now. He's got two more groups of three. So what would he like to do? I think he's going to go. He wants to go on the exhibition and the platform. I can see that he can see that I've got no food, though. There are two food spaces there. What does he want more, the exhibition or the platform? You only need two on the platform because you can't you can only go on the platform once per round. So even though there's two customers, yeah, Mars is going on the platform, which I'm a bit frustrated about, but really I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> I'm, I want the exhibition points. And then... Oh, Marty had another group of three, though. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting the exhibition points. Take that right back. Because Marty is getting the exhibition points, thanks to all the imps that he played there in a great big group. Then I suppose I would like some food then. Let's just get the three meat. I don't have any vegetarian... No. The two I have are carnivores only. And then... Marty has... Marty would go... F yeah, I'm the first player, so I would go first with my group of two. Then Marty would go second. He probably wants some food in the wings, doesn't he? Got two vegetarians. <laughs> this could have been a bad idea. Maybe then. He wants to go to the hospital. So he's got this to uh, get rid of a food need, or hang on to it for next round when it's going to be really useful in the exhibition as an extra colour. I'm going to pass this group and just send them home. I've got another group of two. I'm going to pass and send them home. And then with the group of ones, I get to go first. I've already had the food. Oh, so I don't care then. I could grab this food away from Marty. But, uh, oh, I wanted a cage, didn't I? Yeah, we're not sending all of those back. So one of those groups of two is getting me a cage. And so do I want a really strong cage? Or a bit of a mix? 
yeah, a bit of a mix, maybe. And then I'm just sending these home. Marty, yeah, he's going to get some food just in case. Doesn't want to end up with nothing. And so we go on to arranging our cages. Marty's already done his, I think. Yeah, it's not very strong, but I can, I can make it stronger with imps. So I'm happy with the way that is, although this guy's getting very magical. I'm worried. Maybe he should go in this cage. Yeah, let's, let's rearrange them. He can go in there. He can go in there and him in there. Okay, I think that's the best way around to have it. Marty's happy with the way his are. Although easy, because this cage got no uh, strength in it at all. Well, if, they've, if they're playthings, then Marty's got one imp spare. How'd that happen? He sent big groups to all of these things. Three imps for that. I should have brought them back. He better win this exhibition now. Okay. I have four imps spare. That's some good going. Okay, what am I doing? We've arranged our imps. Now we need to draw a load of cards, don't we? <laughs> Although maybe not as many as last turn for me. Okay, that's a lot of cards. So we want the person we're submitting to the exhibition to have as many different symbols played as possible. And hopefully no uh, suffering cubes. So the most different colours we can play is here on Cthulhu. Although Fiery Fairy is the is the oldest and worth the most money. Although we don't need to be cons considering money for the exhibition. So let's think about Cthulhu. Because we can play a green that could be poo and food. We can we can pay the food, so that's okay. Then for the three purples, we can have here play, despair, which is okay with only one manure. And, oh, I haven't got one with just magic on it. So despair and magic and a bit of rage, maybe. Then it's had a lot of the symbols there. So there's no need. That's all of the symbols, isn't it? Is it? What are we missing? We've got despair, we've got rage, we've got magic, we've got play, we've got poo, we've got food. That's everything. We still need to play one more card, a yellow card. Could be another play. We don't want another manure because that's going to set off the sickness card, so it's going to have to be play. Then in terms of selling, we want, we get a point for every play, rage, and magic. So we're going to need two imps to handle the two play cards then the manure is going to count against Cthulhu, though, for selling. Whereas up here, though, how much magic can the cage take? Just the one. So we could do Rage Rage. Rage. For the three reds. And then... So we're going to need an imp to take care of the rage. And then... Oh, there's no magic on their own again. Let's see. He, he's easy. We can just do play and sickness for him. This one could be Rage... Oh, we could do food for one of the reds, and then it could be rage, rage, rage. The one imp still needed up there. And we need another purple. It could be play. So we're kind of sending an imp to just play, though. We've got no one to clean up that manure in the empty cage that I left. Okay, then. Yeah, that's... It's just going to have to be the way it is, isn't it? So let's just evaluate them now, just, uh, just while I'm looking at them. So we have two imps playing. And despair's okay. We need to add a manure, which is a bit of a shame because that's going to count against us, I think. Then up here we have two, three rage. One is handled by him. And the play. Who's the play handled by? Oh, it's him, I think. Yeah, one's doing the rage, one's doing the play. And then despair is fine here, disease I mean, and play is fine because of the cage. And there's an imp there as well. So that's all okay. Marty has had some bad luck. And it's kind of his own fault for risking it. Yeah, he, he drew that card hoping that he wouldn't get uh, just food. He drew almost entirely food. And he didn't want to discard this one because it was uh, manure and not necessarily food. So he's got to think, for playing different symbols for the exhibition, he can do here, 
you can do you can do the poo, the rage, which is going to need an imp to look after it. You can do disease is fine, and a play is fine because that's all handled. And then he needs another one of each. So magic is okay, that's handled. So there's no way of getting food on there. He could play his potion though, and that's a different symbol. Yeah, that's what he could do. And then, let's see, he can have... Oh, food is taken care of up here though. Food's taken care of, and he can have a manure which is taken care of and isn't going to make a cube. And then yellow can't be play though, it's going to have to be disease which is okay because he can handle that. And then the cage can handle one rage, so that's okay. And then what have we got left? We need two greens, there's nothing for it. That means that this... Yeah, it's getting... Oh, we've got one vegetable, so it's only getting one uh, suffering cube. That's a shame though. So evaluating Marty's, he's got... One food for the food need. Only eats vegetables though. So it has to get a despair cube. And then we have food's taken care of by the cage. Poo's taken care of by the cage. Disease is fine because there's no manure in there. Rage is fine thanks to the cage. Here we have an imp taking care of the rage. We have a manure is generated. Then sadness is, disease is okay. Did you mean to just play that as disease on its own? I oh, know, play's fine, isn't it? Disease and two play is okay because the cage can do two play, the cage can do one magic, and the potion uh, replaces a red, so he'll discard this red. Wow, it's getting a bit much now. Okay, so we have, for Marty's exhibition, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six different symbols, so that's going to be 12, isn't it? Yeah, so he's going to be on 14 in the end, and then I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So thanks to Marty going on there, and me not spending a potion, should have probably spent my potion and got ahead, but I was saving it for next round. Uh, so Marty's got ahead here and he gets six points to my two. And then for the customer, I was selling Fiery Fairy, wasn't I? So the customer wants, it's going to be one, two, three, four for the needs, minus none, because there's no manure in there. So four times two, that's just going to be eight points. Six, seven, eight and four gold. And for Marty, unfortunately he played a manure card. Really could have done with not doing that. But he didn't have any more imps to handle the rage. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, three times two, which is six. He could hang on. Oh no, he can go times three though. He can get nine, can't he? Yeah, he might as well do that. So that's nine points for Marty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. He's got 52 now. Where's his 50? There it is. And then the baby golem goes away. He gets three gold for the baby golem. Then we'll discard the cards in a second. We haven't got any imps available. We need to age our pets. So he gets a little bit older. He gets a lot older, but he's suffering already. And then I have Cthulhu. And Snappy, I think this was. And... We need to age our meat, that's fine. And bring all of our imps back. I'll do that now and then we're ready for the sixth and final round. Okay, so we're all set up for the sixth and final round, apart from sliding this over and giving Marty the first player thing. We need to do income, so it's one for Marty, two for me. And yeah, what have we got here? We've got some new pets. We can't go on the Exhibition Plus 2 space or the hospital, so Marty might have messed himself up in this final exhibition because if I can get a pet to have all the colours on it, and I have got a pet with all the different colours on it. Marty hasn't got that anyway, though. He's got very limited colours in the pets that he's kept. Anyway, so I'm probably winning this exhibition, which is good, because I need to catch up a little bit. But Marty has got the platform. I'm going to need to go on the platform, I think. Marty might want to waste an imp and some money to block that off from me getting in there, so I can only get times two on, a, a custom, on both customers instead of a times three. So... What do we want? Minion groups. Imp groups. So what do I need to do? I don't particularly need food. I've got a lot of food. And it's the last round, isn't it? I'd like a new pet, just because why not? And 
Yeah, let's make a group for a pet. I want to spend a lot of money with these things, although money can be worth points. There is some final exhibitions, which is where you score your uh, leftover stuff, basically. I I don't want a cage. I get two pets if I spend enough money. What if we did that? <laughs> it seems a bit silly. Why have I got hardly any imps? Oh, they're all out on here still. Cause I, oh, the, this is the employee of the month artifact. It means that one of your imps for doing the uh, cleaning manure or any of those things uh, counts as double, basically, one of your imps. I get some more cards by getting an artifact. Yeah, I like the sound of doing this stuff. Getting an add-on would be good to handle a play need. Mm, but at the same time, these are really young pets. Getting some imps would be okay, but it's a bit late, isn't it? What am I going to use them on? I want to go on the platform, and I want to save imps again. Yeah. These imps are staying back here. Okay. Marty. What's he want to do? He wants to grab a pet. I think he wants to save more imps back. Does he want first choice? He'll try and get first choice. And then... I don't think he's bothered about getting a cage. He could get an add-on. The artifacts would be good though, wouldn't they? Now, I think he's going to hold these back, but he'll put them out just in case. Okay. So we reveal. The biggest groups are four. Marty has a four and I have a four. So his go first. I think he's got a very magical cage. But magic isn't really needed for the end things, for them buying. They can't buy any of these pets, can they? The customers. They're too young. So luckily we have some pets left over, so we can, we can both sell two pets. In terms of the exhibition, it doesn't really matter, does it? This pet's a little bit older, but isn't worth more. I think Mar Marty's going to grab this one, though. Because uh, he's got some uh, a, a lovely magical cage for it. Uh, sadly, then, my buy two, two things plan is gone. Uh, so I think... Yeah, I'm spending three gold just to get uh, any pet. Well, it's going to help me in that final exhibition, having more pets. And hopefully we can clean out some of this manure. Uh, Marty... Uh, Marty has size 2 next, so I have another size 4. Do I want to save this gold for the final exhibition? Or... No, what I'm going to do... Is grab the artifacts again. So I'm going to choose purple this time, rather than red. So I get an extra purple in my hand. Then... Next size is 2, and Marty's the first player, so he's going to go on... Yeah, he's going to go on the platform and block me off from doing that. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, is he? No. What he is going to do is, this will hurt me more, he's going to come here and retrieve an imp. And you might think, why bother doing that? You get punished in one of the final exhibitions for not having all your imps, and now there's nothing I can do about it. I am, on the other hand, going to definitely go on the platform now. That is wasting an imp, though. I can't use both of those. It's hopefully going to work out. And Marty has a group of two. He wants some veg. And do I want an add-on? Am I that bothered? I don't think it matters. No, I'm not getting an add-on. I'm just going to pass at this point. I think I don't want any food. So I've got six imps to take care of business at home. Hopefully clean up some manure. And Marty doesn't want any more veg. Does he want to satisfy like a play need or something? Add some more strength to a cage? He'll pass with these and this one and he will get an add-on because they're worth points in the exhibition as well. And yeah, he'll get one that satisfies a play need and put it up here. So this cage satisfies a hunger for vegetables, uh, a manure and a play need. So that's pretty good. Okay, then we've arranged all of our cages, I think, in the way that we want them. So it's time. Oh, maybe I want to swap these two. I'll put Snappy in a bit of a stronger cage. And Snappy doesn't really want to play, whereas uh, he does. So, I think we're ready, aren't we, to draw a load more cards? Let's look at Marty's. He wants to play for the exhibition as many different colours as he can. I don't think it's worth him doing it. Because I'm absolutely going to win that. I break ties anyway, and I've got a potion. 
and I've got a pet that wants all of the different colours. So Marty hasn't got that and hasn't got a potion, so I don't think it's even worth competing. He wants, for selling pets, so he's going to sell the two at the top here. He wants one to be very hungry. Yeah, if he could play, he's only got, he's only got food on green. So the one that's very hungry and could be a bit diseased and angry, that's okay. And then the yellow could just be play. Or the red could be play, couldn't it? We could make the red play. And we could sell them this way. So it'd be two, three, four, five. Then he still needs to play this. It would need to be a play, so you'd need a, an imp to take care of that. Why is this imp in here? I don't think he should be in there anymore. So it's going to have to have an imp playing. And then this one here just wants a load of food. So one, two, food and a bit of aggression. So that's not too bad. And then a sickness. We've only got sickness on red, unfortunately. Well, he could have discarded, couldn't he? One of each of these. Could have discarded that. And he could have discarded his first purple to try and get more sickness. No. Didn't manage it. So, yeah, he hasn't got a disease on there. And he's not playing as much food. Oh, he's playing three food, isn't he? So that's still decent. But he doesn't want anger. Oh, that's the disease one. So he doesn't want magic or suffering cubes. Can't help the suffering cube. This one doesn't want to be angry, which, yeah, we haven't made it angry. So that's okay. So we've got five cards. We need a yellow plate here. So that's going to be a play. And we can put the imp between these two cages. So it satisfies these two plays rather than an empty cage here. This one, Marty can just play two magic to it. Oh no, it's going to have to be magic. Oh, the two purples are going to have to be rage, which is going to have to be an imp. You can do rage and magic. Well, magic. No. Do rage. And then the yellow is play. So that's going to take... We don't want to send an imp to a hospital. We could just do play with purple. Yes, yeah, so this is wasting a lot of imps on playing. But he's still got two left over to clean up manure at the end. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's Marty's done. So evaluating, he needs to spend... Oh, wow, he hasn't got the food to spend for this, though. What's he talking about? He should have gone and got the vegetables. It's only one more vegetable. Yeah, he's going to have to make this just... Just anger. Let's see, he's got... These are all vegetarians, and he's got a load of meat here. So, let's, let's say he'd spent an imp to get this vegetable, just so Marty isn't crushed by bad decisions. So he needs two food for this guy, and he needs two food for this guy, because one's taken care of by the cage. So that's okay, he's got enough food there. Play is taken care of by the imps that we've placed. Rage is okay, magic's okay, Marty is all taken care of. Let's look at my cards. Ugh. Okay, we've got... Let's do him first. He's easy, isn't he? It doesn't matter what he gets given, though. He's not being sold. So we want, we want him to have all the different colours on him, which he's going to have anyway. So we want someone to play a lot. And have a lot of food. And not be angry. And one person to have a lot of food and some disease. Unfortunately, it doesn't mix very well what we've got here. So we, we'll put the food... We'll just have the food up here with Snappy. And then he can just have two Rage. So I don't think the customers are going to want my pets very much. It's still going to be a positive value. They're still going to buy them. And then we want as much play as possible. Unfortunately, play comes with Manure or Magic. Magic's okay here, but we're already probably playing Magic with... The Despair. So we, we only need one yellow. Red can be Manure. That's not too bad. Then, let's see. Green, we definitely want to be Food, but we're going to have to have Food and Manure. Yellow is going to have to be Play and Magic. Then three Purples. 
We can have, we can afford a rage, but it's going to count against us in selling. So just have three magic here. That goes over by one and we don't want to get mutated. So the third one can be the potion, which is the last color that we need to thoroughly win the exhibition. Although we've already done that, whether we play this potion or not. And then him here, he is going to have to have some poo. And some magic is okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay then, so I win the exhibition definitely by miles because Marty didn't even go for it. And so I get six. He, he went for it a bit. He's going to get the two points. Because if you don't bother at all, you're not entered for a single pet. But he definitely played some colours, so we'll give him second place. Although you do have the cube going against you. Marty's got manure cubes as well and sadness cubes. I'm, it's fair to say that I'm in the lead for that exhibition. For selling, though. So let's see. For this pet selling here, I would get two, three. That's it. And over here, I would get four. Wow, that's not very good, is it? I've spent my three food anyway, and everything else is taken care of. I don't need any minions for any of this stuff. They didn't really play very much. What was it? I've got three and four. Wow, that's terrible. Terrible at the very end there. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. So I will triple the four, so that gives me 12, and then it doubles the three, which is six, so that's 18 points for me. So I'm on 70, and so Cthulhu's going over there and gets me three gold. Snappy's going over here and gets me three gold. Then, for Marty, Marty's in a much better customer position. I think he's going to win. He's got, for this customer here, he's just got two, four, five, six, seven. And then the other customer, yeah, minus nothing. And then the other customer, he's got two, four. So he'll triple the seven. So that's 21, doubles the four, which is eight. He gets 29 points. So yeah, he's significantly in the lead now. And he's getting two, four gold. Oh, actually, he does get a sadness on the four. So he should lose two points for that because the, the suffering cube, always forgetting the name of it. Suffering cube counts against him for it. And I've just slid that backwards, haven't I? Is this the pet that he was selling? Oh no, that isn't the pet he's selling. This is the pet he's selling. The one with the suffering cube on it, of course, the worm. So, that's the customers done. Food counts for the end, but it spoils. Marty can put one of his in his magic box, but the other one spoils, unfortunately. Uh, we don't need to age pets because it doesn't matter at the end. We don't need to bring the imps back. So the final scoring is basically these two exhibitions. So we reset our exhibitions to zero. So you get half a point for your gold. I've got three, six gold, so that puts me on three. Marty has four gold, so he's on two. Then every food token, potion card, and what is in the bag? Artifacts. Oh, artifacts is brilliant for me. So Marty's got one food tile, no potion cards, and two artifacts. I've got six artifacts. There we go. And then lose two for every minion you didn't get, though. One, two, three, four. We're on five each. Luckily for me, though. I've got my whip that gives me an extra half in exhibitions. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six. So Marty's two. If I win the next exhibition... No, Marty's won. <laughs> okay. It's kind of taken the wind out of the sails of the final exhibition, hasn't it? So uh, pets you have left. We each have one pet. So new exhibition score. Two each. A point for every add-on and cage that you have. So I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that puts me on nine. Marty's got two, four, five. And then lose a point for every suffering token. Marty hasn't got any suffering tokens left, actually. Oh, we didn't do imps, did we? So Marty's imp could have uh, cleared him a manure out here. And my imps would clear out my manure and there and get me three gold. So yeah, I would have won that uh, first exhibition by even more. So suffering tokens. No, Marty's got a manure. Goes back one. No mutation tokens, so I win the second exhibition. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two. So the final scores are 85 for Marty, 82 for me. So, so close. But yeah, I completely uh, fell. I did well at the exhibition at the end, but fell apart completely for the uh, the customers. Anyway, though, that is Dungeon Pets. We made it. Hopefully there haven't been a crazy amount of uh, egregious subtitles. I hope you enjoyed that and our journey through selling pets and stuff. We can see the ending of it now. Let's let's drag the cloth down so you static cameras can see it as well. Hopefully I don't knock any valuable equipment off the table by doing this. Uh, are you in there? Yeah, you can just about see them. They've, uh, they've slid over a bit, so they're not quite even. But you can see now our lovely display of the customers and the pets that they ended up with. I hope you enjoyed this, though, and it might have piqued your interest about Dungeon Pets. If you would like to hear what I think about it, you can click the link that's coming up shortly. If you'd like to see another video, you're going to be showing one of them. We've done over 300 of them now. Surely there's another one that you'd be interested in. Again, if you would like to help me keep making these videos, then it's only possible thanks to my patrons. Patreon.com slash Slickerdrips. It's linked in the description and on the screen in a minute. It would be lovely if you could come and help out and you can be part of the community and get uh, votes and badges and all sorts of stuff as well. Anyway, thank you for watching this one and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.